hey guys. Uh, it's Ange from Ange RNY here. I am coming to you really late, and I'm very sorry for that. I will explain why in a few minutes. Um, with my week 18, 17 and 18, I should say, post-op update. Sorry, I'm all probably red in the face. I don't know how to look to you. I look red here. Um, <laughs> all sweaty and yay. It's like, I don't know, probably about 35 degrees outside right now. And I've been, I just finished cleaning up. It's Sunday night. I'm even late for my Wednesday. Um, though I'm usually late on that anyways. Uh, um, so I'll start out with saying, um, my name is Ange. Um, I am 39. I am five foot seven. Um, again, this is my week 17 and 18 post-op update for you. Uh, week 17. Oh, sorry. Oh my God, I'm so getting ahead of myself. I'm just. It's the end of the day. I'm tired uh, and hot. So. Um, I had surgery on March 7th, 2018 at Guelph General Hospital in Guelph, Ontario, Canada with Dr. Jules Foutain along. Um, my highest weight ever recorded was 343.6. My surgery weight was 316.4. For week 17, on July 4th, I was 257.6, which is a loss of 6 pound, uh, sorry, a .4 loss from week 16 to week 17. I'm pretty sure I was stalling, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, uh, I'll explain that too in a few minutes why I'm not entirely sure. Maybe somebody can let me know if I'm right or not. Um, July 11th was my week 18 post-op at which I was 254.4 pounds. So from my highest weight that's a loss of 89.2 pounds. From my surgery weight that's a loss of 62 pounds. And from my week 17 weight, that's a loss of 3.2 pounds. So, okay, so the first thing why I'm so late coming to you guys is um, I live in Canada and I don't know what kind of cell phone plans you guys have in the States. I'm pretty sure I've had a few friends who have had unlimited data. Um, there are cell phone companies up here that do unlimited data, but it's like wind, if they even exist anymore. Um, what's that other one? I think there's one called Talk Mobile. There's one, uh, there's a new one, Chatter. Um, they do unlimited data, but they do unlimited data in most of the major cities when you go outside the city you don't you're not entitled you have to put money on what's called your wallet to even be able to make a phone call or text or anything so um i used to be with another company that was similar but being that we're transport drivers and we drive nationwide we can't do that so we have to go with one of the major cell phone companies um, so up here, the major cell phone companies are like Kudo and Bell, Rogers, um, I think in Manitoba they have MTS, in uh, Saskatchewan they have SaskTel, um, I think they've got one called BCTel in, in British Columbia, um, I'm not sure if there's a specific one in Alberta or not, or any of the other provinces maritimes or territories for that matter um, so my husband and I are with Rogers um, we used to be with a company called Kudo and they it was just astronomical every month so we switched to Rogers and um, the plan that we have is 40 gigs a month now 
uh, we don't have a house. We live in a transport. So we watch a lot, a lot of Netflix. And, you know, when we're winding down for the day or when we're stopped, we browse the web a lot. Um, if we want to do anything specific, uh, we have to set up a mobile hotspot for our laptops. Um, or, you know, tune into Wi-Fi somewhere, but we're not, we're not usually stopped long enough. So 40 gigs between two phones goes really fast. Over, well, not really fast, but usually the last few days of the month we have, uh, well, no, I shouldn't say that because I go from the, ele the, the, the 11th to the 10th every month um, for renewal. So on the 10th of every month at midnight, I get 40 gigs back. Um, so yeah, usually that last week before our renewal, we're pretty well strapped for data. And as you know, it takes data to upload and I don't have Wi-Fi in my trailer um, because our park doesn't support it yet. We're in a valley. They're trying to work it out. So when I upload videos, I'm usually out on the road and we're not stopped. So I'm doing it with my mobile data, which which is fine. I'm not complaining. Um, just, But that's why I'm late coming to you. And this is the first time I've stopped since Thursday afternoon when we got here. Or Thursday evening, even. So um, it was my husband's birthday yesterday. So I've been... Friday, I pretty well was shopping and getting things, food and stuff in case we were supposed to have um, a bunch of people come up, um, but it ended up working out differently and uh, we did something else instead and then, uh, yeah, it, it's a great weekend, but uh, yeah, I, today is our last day here so I've been cleaning all day and trying to set the trailer to rights before we leave so that when I come back I'm not cleaning I come back to a nice trailer like everybody wants to do when they leave their home so um now the other thing that I'm wondering about I'm I don't know if I'm right or not but it seems to me that I think I am and if anybody could let me know if I am or not. Oh, why is it out of focus? Oh, there we go. Um, sorry about that. I don't know why it went out of focus. Um, so I think the reason why I seem to be getting these stalls and then these bigger losses is because I am not paying attention to the protein that I get. Um, I have been logging. I'm on my fitness pal. If you want to add me, it's and fair. So capital A, then small N G, then capital F E H R. Uh, my email address is a fair F E H R. 30 at gmail.com um, if you guys if anybody wants to add me on my fitness pal uh, so I think that I've been stalling out because I haven't been getting the proper amount of protein when I come home I've been I've been noticing that I'm getting anywhere from 20 to 40 grams of protein I haven't been having a protein shake when I come home I generally will have a coffee in the morning with my husband and then I will have one egg scrambled and like four pieces of bacon four pieces of bacon or I'll have just like a one egg omelet with cheese in the middle um, and I don't even barely eat half of the omelet it's a lot more filling with the cheese uh, than just one scrambled egg I find um, but then I'm usually running around or um, like I said, this is the first year we've had this trailer, so I've been going through a lot of stuff and um, sorting things out and whatnot. Um, so I forget to eat all day, and then I will eat dinner. Some days I will eat lunch, but usually 
I will only eat the two meals a day and then I'm usually pretty good with getting my water in though some days I have slacked on that I've gotten maybe half a liter to a liter and I definitely notice it the next morning um, but I'm drinking juice uh, if I'm not getting any water in um, or sometimes I'm not getting water in till later in the day um, so I'm a bad bariatric patient when I come home I'm perfect in the truck I get the proper amount of protein I'm generally lower carb or at least now I am um, before I wasn't but it was because I eat yogurt and there's a bunch of carbs in the yogurt um, I, I get the the Oikos triple zero, zero yogurt there there's a bunch of carbs in that um, I guess from like the fruit or whatever whatever they use to to sweeten it um, or just like a lot like when we have chili that's a lot of carbs because it's all vegetables and beans um, but it's healthy carbs for the most part that I've been getting. I've been, I haven't been eating crackers and hummus as much, so I haven't been getting a lot of carbs from crackers, like the refined carbs, right? So I've been eating a lot more fruit lately. So I've been, when I'm having my higher carb days, I've been having more healthy carbs. But then sometimes, not every time, when we're crawling back into the truck, we'll get a bag of popcorn and popcorn is like crack and it's awesome <laughs> and I'm trying not to do that and if I do I'll have some and then I'll say to my husband the next day you need to take this and eat it or feed it to the birds or whatever you're gonna do just get it gone because I don't need it um, but then I'm back in the truck and I'm super good on the protein because I'm eating shrimp with seafood sauce or uh, for like a snack and I'm eating salads for dinner and I'm um, well I finally settled on premier protein because it's not affecting my stomach and it's great and so I've been making a protein coffee every morning or my morning because my morning starts anywhere between usually five and seven at in the afternoon um so i've discovered that the last couple of weeks and absolutely freaking love it but see i went to costco which is something i haven't done a lot of and that's in canada that's where you can get the premier proteins this is costco um you can get vanilla and chocolate so Oh, and we're about to start going down to the States, so if I get to shop in the States, oh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they have wisps at Costco up here now, which is why I went there. That and the Premier Protein. That and... Um, <coughs> oh, my Lord, I'm so sorry. Hold on two seconds, I'll show you. I absolutely freaking love these and you know what if you're craving something sweet these are perfect okay so that's the front of the bag okay that's what they're made with okay so here's the stats I don't know how well you can see that oh there we go Okay, so there's the stats, okay? And the ingredients are organic coconut, organic pumpkin seeds, organic sunflower seeds, organic cane sugar. I'm not too happy about that, but whatever. But there's seven total carbs in here. Dietary fiber is two grams, so you're getting five grams of net carbs from this. I'm not gonna complain. Organic, organic brown rice syrup, organic chia seeds and sea salt that's it made from the earth's best stuff coconut clusters is an amazingly delicious super snack it's hundred percent organic and the perfect complement to salads yogurt cereal or just right out of the bag 
lightly sweetened with coconut clusters that are non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and contain no preservatives, colors, or artificial ingredients. Enjoy. And then it, uh, it's got underneath it organic, non-GMO, kosher, no added fat, gluten-free, wheat-free, vegan-friendly, no artificial ingredients. I freaking love these. And they have one that they do, um, they're called dark chocolate clusters. And it's the exact same stuff coated in dark chocolate. They taste like um, chocolate macaroons. They're good too, but I really prefer those. So when I'm craving something sweet, I have those and it helps. And freaking, which is weird because I've stayed away from sugar and everything like that. Uh, the only reason I don't I don't know why I'm craving sweet, something sweet because I've always been a savory craver um, more than a sweet craver and but whatever like such a healthy snack and 20 grams and it's perfect it when restrictions really good that's pretty much a meal just that and it's 110 calories for 20 grams like okay you can't go wrong so um so yeah so I'll have those for a snack uh -huh, you know I might have a couple of yogurts some days some days I don't whatever the meal is whether it be a salad or chili or whatever we're having for the day um but yeah I'm normally getting I think like think about 75 to like 110 grams of protein usually when I'm in the truck that and water I'm usually getting about two to two and a half liters at least um, depending on how I feel so and that's where I'm seeing the big losses is when I'm eating my protein but when I'm not eating my protein I'm noticing that the weight just stays stagnant like so I, I don't know if that's a thing if if any of you people who watch me who are further out and and know the way things you know the way things work better and whatnot can let me know I I'd appreciate it because I, I well, maybe it's not a thing for anybody else maybe it's just a thing for me I don't know but I also notice too when I come home that the scale goes up so, like, is that because I'm not getting my protein and I'm not getting my proper water for the most part? Um, I'm trying to pay more attention to it. I was a lot better this weekend, I think, yesterday and the day before I got 70 to 80 grams of protein. So that's a lot better than 20 to 40. So, also, oh my god, I'm like so freaking ecstatic. extra large shirt extra large shorts and I had to buy new underwear which I understand not everybody wants to know but my underwears are extra large now too I'm so freaking happy I did I was worried they weren't gonna fit or that they were gonna well I was worried they were gonna be too small no they don't go over the fupa but they fit perfectly. They're not tight. They're like completely, totally comfortable. They cover my ass. <laughs> like, I never thought I'd be excited about buying underwear, but I had to because the ones that I had that used to fit me four and a half months ago were like fucking granny panties. They were up to my boobs. Like, who wants to wear underwear that's up to their freaking boobs? It wouldn't be long before they start falling off my butt. Because they're just far too big. I, I felt like Steve Urkel walking around with freaking no suspenders. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, I mean, that's freaking great. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know why it keeps, it, probably the fan keeps throwing me out of focus. Like I said, it's really hot here. 
so yeah, I keep the fans to help circulate the air because the air, it's a trailer. So I mean, it keeps it cool pretty well, but on these really hot days, it's better to have the fans. But yeah, so um, I think there was something else. I can't remember what. That really sucks. Um, oh, that's right. Okay, so at my four month post op, and I'm kind of really kicking myself in the butt, but I don't want to do it now because I'm already eight days past my four month um, surge anniversary. Um, I didn't take my measurements, which is kind of silly on my part. We were super busy. We didn't stop. Uh, pretty much my husband's been building up our deck to go uh, because we got a new trailer and it's a lot higher. So our deck used to rest right on the ground and now it's about two and a half feet above the ground. So and he's been trying to get things done and everything, so we pretty much raced out west and raced home and then last week and then again this week that just passed because um, he wanted to come home last weekend to work on the deck for a couple of days and then this weekend as well, even though it was his birthday, I really didn't want him to, but you know, what can you do? So, so yeah. Um, I didn't get measurements. I will do measurements for my five month. Um, I think I will actually be here for my five month. I did mean to get measurements the other day, but like I said, I've just been so busy with getting everything I needed to get and organizing yesterday for my, so that my husband would have a really good day. And uh, I'm just, I'm freaking beat now. I, you know what? It was stupid. I ended up going to sleep at 9.30 last night because I was so freaking exhausted and that's just the start of the night. Like, my husband had had a nap, he got up, and yeah, I felt kind of bad for that, but I mean, what can you do? <laughs> so, but anyways, it's, like I said, it's Sunday. And it's the end of the weekend, and this is the first time I've had to sit and relax. And so I thought I would come to you guys with the video for the last couple of weeks and let you know what's been going on with me. Please do, um, those veterans that do watch me, let me know if I'm right about the protein, if it really is a thing, um, with the stalls and the, the losses. Um, and I will, hopefully, <laughs> since I'm horrible at it, come to you guys on Wednesday with my week 19 po post-op update. Um, and hopefully I will not be up um, the two, three pounds I'm up this weekend. Still, hopefully I will be less than 254. Hopefully, if I'm a good girl because I've been pretty damn good all day. Uh, hopefully I'll be in the 240s, because that would be awesome. Yeah. So, anyways, everybody have a great few days. I would say a great week, but I will be coming back to you on Wednesday. So, have a great few days, and I will see you later. Thanks. Bye. Take care.